Hey everyone, welcome to Atomo. This is Andrew. It is April 12th, 2023. I got a, a little bit of upgrade going on. I got a little fireplace in the background now. I got a grand piano over there and I got a, a flickering mic that's like trying to teleport out of existence now. Kind of like everything that we thought was reality over the last, I don't know, it's like everything's flickering out of existence now. Heck, well, hey, we even have we even have the Elons here. Um, <laughs> so, like, so spats going on in Twitter here. You have the Elon uh, placing tags on things. I'm sure you've seen the stuff uh, going around. Calling national public radio is denies being national or public. Yeah, paid by public money. Is that how it works? Uh, national public radio, like national broadcasting. I'm trying to remember if there was another one. Um, <clears throat> yeah, funny stuff. So uh, let's see. There, there's something else uh, as well that he found. So let me pull this up. There's like a bit of a clip happening. So he had one of the people from the BBC over and it was it was quite comical actually. Um, let's see here. So the, the BBC actually went to his studio. They sent, a, not a studio, they went to Twitter headquarters. And Elon interviewed this person. And the person was trying to like deny what was going on. So let's cue it up to... Huh. Yeah. Just one. Just one. 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 Really high. There are many people that say it. There are many people that say it. Okay, well. Many people say it. you got one, right? Right. You got you got one. You can show one real hateful thing. One example. Just one. Just one. Just one. That's the whole internet is people saying a whole bunch of nonsense. Uh and and trying to be smart about it. Can we question stuff? Like, can we question stuff? Like you too? Can you question this stuff? Oh yeah. Like this is the the lefties really love to do this kind of stuff. Is you'll show us. Oh, let me let me say a really. Oh, Andrew, you're going to turn this into hateful content. What? I'm going to say Thomas Sowell. Thomas Sowell. Should I like start pulling Thomas Sowell economics out? Or are you, you know quotes um so for those of you who don't know like just just google thomas sowell uh just, let me see I, I can even find like even just one thing of thomas sowell i think that will help immensely here <laughs> thomas sowell is an economist um it, he's very factual in the work that he puts forward He's also a black man. Like, so we go to our list of if you really want to throw the lefties for a loop. I mean, it's just.
you know what he talks about that lifts really people out of poverty is like discipline, doing well, work, studying. Uh, he talks a lot about, he has a concept of, um, let my brain catch up to the amount of power that Thomas Sowell has. Uh, <clears throat> he talks about our traditional justice and something called natural or cosmic justice, which and also that social justice stuff. And he finds that when there's a level, a, 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 an equal application of the rules to everybody within the system, then you have a you have a standard or a, a, a groundwork of which you can rise to. And if we start to, heaven forbid, and this is happening, that if we start to say for this group of people, you don't need to be held to a higher standard than this other group of people. So what happens when you're about to go under knife for a surgery and your doctor's like, yeah, I got accepted here. I just did all my surgery by watching YouTube videos. Oh, wouldn't, wouldn't that here sign this, sign this waiver and release of any damages and harms that are going to happen to you. And you actually, you know, you cauterize your dick off or something like that. So, Hey, it's just, yeah. So, so let's let's bring it back to the point, Mr. Elon. Um, there's a, another one that came up as well. So let's look for... Da, 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 da. Yeah, so... Even Sesame Street uh, is jumping into the fray. So let's bring this one up. Yeah, look at this. Publicly funded PBS joins NPR in quitting Twitter. <laughs> okay, I guess you're going to have to be keep becoming state funded because nobody's going to actually use your product. Like Elmo is now vaccinated for COVID-19. Get stuff ouchy, ouchy. Um, yeah, this is this, the, the clown show just keeps on going and going. So the next one is, well, Hey, how about we, uh, how about we get the CBC out there as well? Yeah. Canadian broadcasting corporation is given like what? $1.2 billion a year from the government of Canada. And it's like, well, of course they're going to prattle on like and just do whatever the government says you're going to bite the hand that feeds you so yeah so that's the bit of the war going on you had a bunch of these uh turkeys tapping out they can't take the heat on twitter see here exactly what i was talking about um there we go standards so, you know, the poll, a bit of uh, channeling some Thomas Sowell here is that when you start to hold these hypocrites to a specific standard and they can't attain that standard, then you see this taking the ball and going home. And even much like you saw in the interview with that person from the BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation, uh, trying to hold an argument with Elon, but having no facts whatsoever. And this is part of this you know, leftist move is they're not playing in facts because the moment you play in facts, you play in reality. They're using a postmodern way of saying, this is our feeling, this is our reality, this is the way that we perceive things and you have to call us right. There's no debate about that. And if you do debate it, you get hit with all the biggest bigot, racist, phobe this, phobe that. Um, so you get that. It's like you really want to know the ones that really hate or the ones that, you know, you know, raise, raise it. Let's, okay, let me reverse it. Raise your kids 
or the people that you're with, with good critical thinking skills. That's insanely important because that's the only way that you're going to shut down these people is they're trying to create a parallel system that can't work within the bounds of the disciplines of, of the reality. So they have to fake up a reality. And then when you don't acquiesce to that reality, just call you names upon names upon names upon names. Really, there's there's no game there. It's just hate and shaming the stuff that they say that they don't do. They do it in spades and they don't like competition along that space. So that's the little state sponsored tags that are now going to show up on particular media groups. Let's hope that the CBC gets one and we'll have a laugh. So thanks for hanging out with me by the fireplace if it renders my finger there i can't play that thing so i don't want to scare everybody away but hey have a good time see you in the next video bye now